how to add FPS meter to any Android device by using FK Kernel Manager. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add FPS meter to any Android device by using FK Kernel Manager. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 and I am running a custom ROM which is based on Android 10 and the kernel in this ROM is Silver Core. So you don't necessarily need to have kernels by the developer of FK Kernel Manager. And what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to be rooted and I am rooted using Magisk. The other thing you need to do is go to the Play Store and on the play store we are going to search for fk kernel manager do note that this is a paid application i have purchased this application and if you find the price is a bit too much you can always wait because there are chances that you can buy it at a cheaper price during a sale which is what i did and all i am going to do is tap on install now once the application has installed successfully we can drag it to our home screen and once we've done that we will open fk kernel manager there it is you can see that we are getting super user request we will tap on grant and now that we are on the home screen of fk kernel manager you can see that it is giving me information about my cpu and my gpu we will tap on the tab which says live monitor at the bottom and here is the information about my cpu course on the top you will see that we have different options so we will scroll and go into perf mon and the next thing we need to do is enable the perf mon floating window and it is going to ask access to display over other applications we need to enable this toggle then we can go back and need to open fk kernel manager one more time and enable this perf mon floating window once again and bam there it is you can see that i do have a floating window which is giving me a lot of information now if you scroll down you do have the option of choosing what all components you want to see so we can disable the cpu we can disable gpu and ram we will only leave fps on here and as you can see i can actually drag and move this fps meter around and of course you can configure your window opacity the width the height all these things can be configured so let us say i want to change the width right now it is set to 150 i want it to be 200 tap on ok and there it is you can see that the width has now increased similarly for the height right now it is set as 275 let us say i want it to be 350 tap on ok and it should increase in size in case you want to restore back to defaults you have a toggle for that as well you can of course change your window opacity also using this slider and here is the slider which we are talking about you can also change the refresh interval right now it is set to a thousand milliseconds and i just prefer to leave it as it is there it is and here is the fps meter we might have to kill the application or reboot our device for these changes to kick in so we can go back into the perfmon option and we can try changing the height right now it is set to 350 let us say i want it to be 100 that might be a good number and we can try tapping on ok here it is and bam there it is you can see that the height is now changed to 100 which is again still a bit too much for the fps meter only and sorry about it but i think we can adjust the height a bit more let us change it to 35 and there it is this looks perfect and you can of course drag it around wherever you want to and it is changing as per the refresh rate on my display so right now it is 9.5 12.8 so there it is peeps that is how you add fps meter on any android device by using fk kernel manager and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.